Alhamdulillah, he robbed the Alameen, was Salah, was Salam ala Nabi and the Muhammad wa ala Alihi was Sahihi was Salam and Maba. So, how were the Salaf Asari when it came to speaking about uh, foulness and thinking about uh, evil matters? So, this is a, a, a question that needs to be posed, and the answer comes in the following uh, narrations from the Salaf. And what's very important here is that we have to realize that when we say we follow the Salaf Asali, when we say we follow and that we're from Ahl Sunnah and that we're striving to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and follow his companions, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu Ajma'in, that we practice that in totality. It's about our belief, it's about our methodology and understanding the religion and how we call to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. It's about our fiqh, our understanding, and our jurisprudence. All of those things are contained within the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and the understanding of the Salaf as And it's also about our manners and our way in which we command the good and forbid the evil and the way in which we stay away from those things which the Salaf stayed, stayed away from. Which in turn the Prophet ﷺ commanded against and stayed away from sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so in a narration that was collected in Adab al-Mufrid which is a book uh, of, uh, that refers to the manners that was collected by Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala qala haddathana muhammad qala haddathana muhammad ibn muthanna qala haddathana wahab ibn jarir qala haddathana abi قال سمعت يحيى ابن أيوب عن يزيد ابن أبي حبيب عن مرثد ابن عبد الله عن حسان ابن كريب عن علي ابن أبي طالب رضي الله تعالى عنه قال القائل والفاحشة الذي يشيع بها في الإثم سواء In this narration that was a narration on Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said so this is a statement of Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said that the one who speaks about adultery or fornication is the one is like the one who spreads uh, who, who spreads this this speech, you know, this vile speech. And their sins are the same. And their sins are the same. And in another narration, Hadathana Muhammad, Qala Hadathana Bashru ibn Muhammad, Qala Hadathana Abdullah, Qala Hadathana Ismail ibn Abi Khalid, An Shubail ibn Auf, Qal Kana Yukal, Men Semi'a Bifahi Shatin, Fa'afshaha. So in this narration, which was a narration uh, that was narrated by Shubayl ibn Auf, who said that it, that it used to be said that whoever hears about adultery or fornication and then they spread that speech, then he is like the one who began the speech who began this evil speech so again this is a stern warning against speaking about those things which are evil and carrying tales and especially spreading and glorifying adultery and fornication and in another uh, narration قَالَ حَدَثَنَا مُحَمَّدْ قَالَ حَدَثَنَا قُبَيْسَ قَالَ حَدَثَنَا حَجَّاجْ عن ابن جريج عن عطائي أنه كان يرى النكال على من أشاع الزنا يقال أشاع الفاهشة أو يقول أشاع الفاهشة So this was a narration on عطاء رحمه الله تعالى who said or that it, it was a narration that he used to see or are used to uh, believe that pun there should be a punishment for the one who spreads the uh, tales about uh, adultery. 
and he said, or it was said about this, meaning the one who spreads uh, tales about fornication, adultery, and fahisha, you know, the, those kind of wicked sins. So, what we learn from this hadith is it shows us that zina or fornication in all of its various forms is something very, very serious in Islam and that it's even prohibited to speak about uh, those things and to spread and especially to call to it. So this is also a warning for us to beware of internet sites that spread this kind of fahish, that spread evil speech uh, and, and especially those groups which encourage, uh, you know, have profiles built upon sinfulness and fornication and inviting people to do evil. And I ask Allah the Almighty to protect us and protect the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from this evil, evil fitna, which is a great trial, which many of us, uh, many of us, are affected by. And may Allah subhanahu wa taala bless our children. And bless us all with ikhlas ala sunnah, with thabat ala sunnah, with ikhlas lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all acts of worship. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.